Hello everyone. So recently we have changed our inventory module design. So in this video, I will assist you that what changes we have made and how inventory module will look like now and how it will be helpful to you. So let us go to our inventory module. On your left hand side, you need to click on inventory module. So please check. This is our new inventory module. This is how it looked like. So earlier you might have seen that on your left hand side, there was a drop down option provided to select between item master inventory approval, stock movement and barcode. So we have changed that and on the very top, we have provided these features inventory master inventory approval, stock movement and barcodes. So from here, you can go ahead and uh, make the changes and can uh, see in that particular segment. Now coming to the next which is uh, how you can go ahead and add your items. So we have differentiated it and currently we have provided the plus symbol with add single item. So you can click on this and then after fill all the details and add a single item. For the bulk action, here we have provided bulk action feature. Click on this and you will get options like add multiple item, update stock, so manual adjustment uh, is in the update stock itself. So once you will click on this, please check here you will see update stock and also, we have uh, just collated the add stock and reduce stock in single screen. So here you can go ahead and click on add stock or reduce stock and accordingly can take action. Now, going back in the bulk action, what other changes we have made? So edit items in bulk, delete items and import from tally we have provided in the bulk action itself. Now, coming to the next, that where is store transfer, physical stock reconciliation and other option. So we have provided those options in more advanced action. Click on more advanced action and here you will get to the option to add item category, stock transfer, physical stock reconciliation, vendor mapping and directly you can go in your inventory settings from here. So click on this and here you will land in inventory uh, settings in our settings module. Now going back to our inventory module. We have also provided explore all inventory features so that you can directly explore what features are available in inventory. Now, coming back to our inventory dashboard. So inventory dashboard looks same. Uh, just few changes have been made. So earlier you were getting option to hide and hide columns. So where exactly it is? Now we have moved it in the filters uh, filter segment. So here is the filter segment. Once you will click on filter, you can go ahead and select a store as per your requirement and data will be displayed as per the store. So please check if I selected main reject store, the dashboard data will get changed. Now in the category, you can select product or services which you want to see a status low stock, excess stock, negative stock and inactive items, whichever the item you have deleted that will come in the inactive item. So click on this and inactive item will get displayed here. Now, uh, this is the option to hide and hide data. So suppose if I don't want to uh, show this data, so what I will do, I will just unselect it and please check accordingly the changes get reflected on my screen. I can use reset all and can reset it back to the main or I can click on done and accordingly it will get displayed here. Now, so earlier in the very top, there were few cards which were provided for stock value, low stock, excess stock or to go in inventory dashboard. We have provided that feature in the bottom. As you can see the stock value, low stock, excess stock, you can click on this view excess stock and accordingly it will get filtered out. So features are same. It's just there are some changes in the button and position of those uh, buttons which we, you were using earlier. Now. If I will go here, here you will find the go to inventory dashboard. Once you will click on this inventory dashboard will get opened in front of your screen. Now going back. So why we have made these changes? We have made these changes just to make inventory management and accessibility of your inventory more smoother. So as earlier, uh, it was a little different to a little difficult to go in the inventory approval, making the selection in the stock moment barcode. So we have provided all the details in the very top or in the very front so that it will be visible to you and you can easily go ahead and just select the required feed required segment and can move in that particular segment. So I hope this particular video will be helpful to you in accessing new inventory module. Have a good day.